When Lincoln introduced the fourth generation Navigator in 2018, we called it a huge step forward for the brand. Packed with technology and with a single-minded focus on luxury, it was everything we were hoping to see from this American icon. But the full-size luxury market is far different now in 2021, with the new and hugely improved Escalade on the scene and the promising Jeep Grand Wagoneer not far behind. With that in mind, Lincoln is taking the same approach to luxury and technology that made the Navigator a standout with this refresh. Now, this is a refresh, so you're not gonna see big dramatic design changes, but what Lincoln has done has made a few tweaks to bring the Navigator more in line with the rest of the Lincoln family. This vehicle debuted first, but after that happened, vehicles like the Nautilus, Corsair, and Aviator came out with a slightly softer, more elegant design. These changes to the headlight, grille, and front fascia, along with changes to the back, bring this car more in line with the rest of its siblings. Out back, there are even fewer changes than there are out front. You have a new vehicle spanning LED taillight. This is a slight tweak of the existing design and it's kind of softer and more rounded in the entire assembly. And again, that's to bring it more in line with the rest of the Lincoln family and kind of tame some of this vehicle's hard edges that were there when it debuted in 2018. Now, the interior is where you're going to see the more substantial changes. And these still aren't dramatic, but they're the kind of small little details that make a luxury car a luxury car. Now, this vehicle has one of the two new black label trims, and that comes with this gorgeous matte wood that on the dash has little square etchings. It's kind of an odd design touch, but it really works, and it shows that there's just a little bit more care in how this cabin was crafted. But it's the tech story that really has us excited about this interior. You get a new, larger 13.2 inch touchscreen and a 12 inch digital instrument cluster, but the biggest news is the arrival of Active Glide. It means the arrival of Blue Cruise. This is Lincoln's version of this. The Navigator is the first vehicle to get Blue Cruise technology, and we cannot wait to try it out. We've driven it in the F-150 already, and we were hugely impressed. One thing that we did notice that is a little bit disappointing is that in the F-150, where the driver-facing cameras and infrared emitters are well hidden, in the Navigator, it's just kind of got a module tacked onto the dash. That's a, kind of an inelegant solution for a luxury vehicle. That said, the arrival of Active Glide is big news, with Cadillac already offering Super Cruise and Jeep adding a version of its Active Drive Assist to the Grand Wagoneer in the near future. Beyond that, you still have the same robust tech suite. You have wireless Apple CarPlay. You have a infinity number speaker stereo from Revel Audio, which is arguably one of the best in the business. There are these amazing 30-way seats, and overall, it's just a very nice place to spend time. It still feels like a very well-built cabin with premium materials. There is some unfortunate plastic. We wish this piano black here were wood, but beyond that, we really liked the Navigator's interior before. We're really gonna like it now. There are also some exciting changes in the back, and one of the most substantial, if you're spending a lot of time back here, is the arrival of a updated Lincoln Play rear seat entertainment system. Now, we don't normally recommend rear seat entertainment systems because an iPad is cheaper and easier to replace. Once these are in, they're in. But there are some cool features here. It's compatible with Amazon Fire TV, so you can stream whatever you feel like right to this display. And it's a touch screen, so you can swipe around. And it's as responsive as any iPad, which is great too. As for the seats themselves, they're still the same, very comfortable captain's chairs with heating and ventilation, but you control them along with the audio and the climate via a new 5.2 inch touch screen mounted here on the center console. That's a cool touch and it definitely makes the back feel a little bit more special. Lincoln's design and technological changes bring the Navigator far forward in a more competitive segment, but it's the arrival of Active Glide only the third Ford product to offer hands-free driving that has us most excited. With similar technology in the Escalade already and coming to the Grand Wagoneer, these three vehicles are going to be competing in a new and exciting way. For much more on the 2022 Navigator, be sure to check out MotorOne.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and wherever else you get your social media.